Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes and today I'm going to show you how to build this cake structure and you can build any kind of character cakes or figures with it. So first you will need a, a piece of wood. I just picked out this square piece at um, Lowe's and the nice thing about Lowe's is they can cut it here. Then I covered it with some contact paper, it's just clear contact paper so you can still see the pretty wood or you can get uh, cover it with anything you want. but. I usually cover it first and then I go ahead and do the drilling that I have. But Lowe's is great because they cut your wood for you when you go in the back. So I like that little feature about Lowe's. So I also got these. These are floor flanges. They're galvanized steel. And what we're going to do is we're going to screw those in place and then use this piece here. This piece is threaded and it is a part of a PVC pipe. It is threaded and it is a half inch. Uh, made to fit the half inch um, pipes. So it'll say the half inch on it when you're in that department. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you're going through Lowe's to get all these pieces as well. You'll also want one that looks like this and uh, one that looks like this. So I think that one's called a T and the, the other part is a 90 degree one that fits into it. But in that section, you can get, you can just, fit them as you go. What I do is I grab a half inch uh, PVC pipe, then I go to the pieces that all say half inch and I fit them as I go and I see what'll fit together the best to make the kind of figure I want. So here is the PVC pipe and what you will need is a PVC pipe cupper, cutter to fit these all together. Now before we go any farther, I'm going to take you on a little stroll down that aisle in Lowe's where all the PVC pipes are. And there's the half inch one. See, these are all the pieces that you will work with. The adapter is the one that you're going to screw right into the floor flange. So you'll need two of those for the legs at the bottom. And then you'll also need, what's this, the coupling slip. The slip one, you don't want this one to be threaded. Uh, this one is for attaching two PVC, half inch PVC pipes together. And then you'll want an elbow, there's a half inch slip, the 90 degree one, and then there is the one that has the, the, um, the little smaller end that fits right into um, the T section that we had. So you'll want two of those as well. <laughs> and then here's that T slip. Right here, there's the T that's also made for the half inch PVC pipes. And if you have any questions about it, like I said, just take that half inch PVC pipe and fit it into the different parts because you want to make sure that each of the parts are going to fit before you buy it all and then assemble it. So here we are to assembling and we're going to measure off how long that we want the legs to be. And then we're going to um, go over to our PVC pipe cutter and we're just going to cut on those marks. And um, I think later on I decide I want the legs shorter, so I come back and cut them again, which is really nice because the uh, really nice because of the PVC cutter. They're easy to use, actually. They're a lot easier. You just line up right where you want it to be cut. Right, put the blade right on that line, and you press down, and it's not hard. It's not hard at all, in my opinion, to to be able to cut these PVC pipes, which again is great when you decide to adjust it later like I did and so I decided to go shorter with the legs later which you will probably see and be like what she went shorter yeah I did <laughs> you learn even when you make all these notes you learn you get your proportions somewhat wrong and then you have to adjust so anyway I have the T and then those little uh, 90 degree angles that have the little smaller ends and I fit those in and then I put them on top of the half inch PVC pipes and then at that point, that's when I measure out where I want those legs to be on my board before I start screwing down the floor flanges. So I already screwed these two. I'm gonna show you the last one. I just got some wood screws and I made sure that the wood screws obviously would not be longer than my piece of wood. I had about an inch thick piece of wood. That was my platform. And so um, my wood screws are uh, only gonna go in three fourths an inch because that's when I got the number 12s. They worked out well for screwing into these this floor flange into our base. Now 
then you go ahead and screw the PVC pipe adapters right into those base and that'll fit in nice and snugly and you won't have to worry about your cake toppling over because <laughs> this will be very sturdy and those fit right into there and now you have a very sturdy base which is the most important part for this I'm going to use my 7 eighths of an inch uh, this is called a spade bit and um, we're just going to use that in our drill and we're going to make a nice hole right in the center of this and you might think I have a very oddly shaped wood board because you can just use a regular wooden cake board. This is extra thick because it's actually a wooden plaque that I ordered. It's a five inch wooden plaque and I was just going overkill is what I was doing. But the seven eighths inch is perfect because the PVC pipe will fit through it but it is going to be just small enough that it won't push down onto the, the part below it so it's going to stay in place snugly. See as I press it down like this it stays up and it won't be pushed down farther so that gives me a little room right beneath there that I can put Rice Krispie Treats or whatever I'm putting on the legs or cake or whatever I'm doing on that project. So that works out really good that it fits nice and snugly with our half inch PVC pipe. So yes, the two wooden cake circles I used today were both actually wooden plaques. And that was funny because I was in the craft store and I thought these would make perfect cake bases for the project I was working on. And here is the, the four way connector and we're just gonna put that right on the, the end of that PVC pipe and it fits in nice and snug. And then as you can see, I made the leg shorter and I'm working on the arms here. So the arms, I got a lot of little parts going on here. I'm gonna tell you what each of these are. I've cut the PVC pipe into about an inch and first put that on. And then I put the 45 degree angle one on. And then I put the 90 degree angle one on. And then I also had uh, just a regular slip connector onto that 45 degree angle. And so that gives us the shape that we're in. But you can also play with these and do whatever you like for the arms there. Now the great thing about the PVC pipe is once you have your legs in place and everything, you can move things around and change up your structure to be whatever you want it to be. And um, yeah, I even ended up just doing a, a fist bump <laughs> with mine because my daughter wanted her little figure to be doing a fist bump with her. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> just turn those PVC pipes a little bit and we're able to do that. So it was a lot of fun and you can do so many different kinds of figures with this. And if you wanna see how to put cake on it and how to put uh, Rice Krispie Treats, cause my figure, I put Rice Krispie Treats for the legs and arms and then the body and head were both cake. And if you wanna see that process and how I sculpted the head and smoothed it all over with buttercream and stuff, I'm gonna be putting that video out there soon. So please check it out and please subscribe to my channel, thanks.